Hey everyone, my name is Adam Del Conte, and you're watching Ask the Expert. It's May, and May is Celiac Disease Awareness Month. Now, before I tell you anything, for a more comprehensive uh, breakdown of celiac disease, I recommend you check out celiacdisease.org from the National Celiac Foundation. But for a bit of a breakdown, uh, let's talk a bit about what is celiac disease, what signs and symptoms to look for, and if you have concerns that you or a family member may be affected by this, the next steps to take. Celiac disease is a problem that develops by the body responding to certain proteins in foods and triggering a cascade of damage and inflammation to the digestive system. This can be caused by a series of genetic factors as well as exposures to environmental triggers in foods. Celiac can occur at any age in both children or adults and can present with a mix of symptoms or in fact no symptoms at all. In smaller children, symptoms can range from something as simple as lack of energy, fatigue, to uh, slower than expected development, weight loss, failure to gain weight. And in adults, there can be some of those same issues with digestion and development alongside changes in skin, uh, changes in teeth, uh, or other signs of inflammatory markers. Celiac disease itself is a specific problem in reaction to the gluten protein in foods, but there are other diseases that run on a spectrum that are not quite as clear-cut, such as non-celiac gluten sensitivity and wheat allergies. If you are suspicious that you or a family member may have one of these conditions, the simplest thing to do is to talk this over initially with one of your primary care providers. The diagnosis of celiac disease is made first with a blood test and then with some other confirmatory tests that may range from biopsies of the intestine to look for that cellular damage, allergy testing, uh, or other diagnostic imaging. In general, the treatment for celiac disease for many people can simply be avoiding gluten, the, the trigger that causes that damage to the tissues. And thankfully, advances in food science and food wizardry have come a long way where I can tell you gluten-free pancakes are amazing. And all of the other options out there for gluten-free diets and supplementation uh, are, are quite excellent. Uh, and it's no longer a sensation of deprivation in terms of treating yourself and making sure you're eating healthily. So if you've already had some of the initial workup and it's come negative for celiac disease, but you still suspect that gluten intolerance may be something you're dealing with, you can get more information at the Gluten Intolerance Group of North America at the interestingly chosen website, gluten.org. You can tolerate the website, I promise. So thanks for watching this episode of Ask the Expert. I'm Adam Del Conti from Midwest Express Clinic, and if you'd like to learn more about our clinics or come check me out in the office, you can get more information at MidwestExpressClinic.com.